Uh, it's a privilege to be here this morning. Thank you very much. My name is Tom Grooms. This is Brian Raver. And before we give you a demonstration of the text analytics that we're so excited about with HANA, I wanted to give you just a quick overview of Medtronic. It was founded in 1949 in a garage by an electrical engineer named Earl Bakken and uh, has now grown to be the world's largest medical device company, world's largest medical technology company in the world. And we serve over 7 million patients a year. And we do that in over 120 countries, 270 locations, and almost 40,000 employees. And we serve approximately one patient every four seconds. Our goal in the next few years is to quadruple our business and be able to serve one patient every second. So speed is of the essence. And in order to be able to do that, we're going to need to be able to overcome the business obstacle we have today, which is we don't know what we don't know. And that's how text analytics will help us. So Brian is going to provide us with a demonstration of what he and the SAP team have put together over the past several weeks. So Brian. Thanks, Tom. Before we dive into what we've been working with SAP on, I want to show you first what this looks like in Explorer. This is a familiar tool, and it's a great tool. But what it doesn't allow us to do is to look at the data that's in the unstructured fields or the long text fields in our system. So this is Explorer, and you'll see that we have 30,000 records that we've loaded in of simulated data. If we switch over to the new app that we've been working with SAP on, this is our text analytics application. Again, we have the same 30,000 records, and this allows us to look at that unstructured data. For the purpose of this, we're going to take a look at a, a line of surgical drills that we've simulated here called Rio. As soon as I start to search and type, the system's suggesting keywords and phrases that it's already mined from both the structured and unstructured data. We'll take a look at the Rio line, and instantly we're down to 10,000 results. If we dive into one of these records, immediately you'll see that on the left-hand side we have a set of structured data, like serial numbers, dates, customers. And on the right-hand side, you see a lot of unstructured data that's extremely valuable to us. So Brian, this would be the type of information that's entered by a customer service agent as they help a patient. Exactly. Back in the results screen, we also see around, surrounding the results, we have a lot of analytics that are derived from the data. This is all automatic. It's not configured. So this is also extremely valuable for helping us dive into um, areas that might be of interest to us. For this purpose, let's take a look at the component bearing. And you'll see instantly again that we're down to a subset of the results. So now only 667 results. And I noticed, Brian, when you hovered even over the bar, it was uh, updating the results. That's correct. So if we look at the causes um, and, and simply hover over detachment, you immediately see not only the result set updating, but the analytics surrounding it. We'll go ahead and drive, drive into WARN, as we know that WARN bearings can be an issue in drills. Another thing we can do is we can refine the search. So if we don't see the particular attribute that we want to drive into, we can also just go back up to the search area. And for our purpose, let's take a look at attachments. We know attachments on a drill can, can at times cause issues. So we'll just simply type in attachment or type half of it, and it'll tell us. And again, our, up, our results are updated immediately. Another thing we can do is, is dive into some of the analytics in a little more detail. So you'll notice that there's a nice timeline button here. And we can take a look at whether there are any trends or patterns developing with, with this data. And so Brian, this tool is able to sense by the type of data how to structure it. And this is all being done on the fly. That's right. So the last thing we'll take a look at is, is just to see if this, this issue that we're taking a look at with worn bearings is widespread or if it's just isolated to our simulated product family of, of Rio. And here you can see in the analytics that this is completely isolated to Rio. So this solution gives us a seamless combination of both structured and unstructured data, along with text search and analytics, which can be very valuable to our business. Fantastic. Now we know what next steps to take. Thank you, Brian. So while much has changed in the medical device industry, the thing that remains core to us is innovation. And that's what we see in applying SAP HANA to our business. And we're very excited to work together with SAP on this project to completion. Thank you.